Now let's recap really quickly what we have. We have a crate of grenades that we have collision with and we have the grenade itself that we are ready to throw around. Now when we collide with our crate right now after the door opens we just get a message in our console window which reads box of ammo found. Well that's all nice and all but of course that doesn't really help us much so let's clear this out and open our collision script. Let's go to the part where it says print box of ammo found and let's get rid of this because we already know that the code is there and that it comes there. Now we just need to uh, do two things. First of all destroy the ammo box and with destroy I don't mean to blow it up but just to take it out of the level and then after that we need to add ammo to inventory and we'll add a very simple inventory for that. Okay, first off, let's add the destroy code, and it's really easy. Just type destroy with a capital D, and then in between the brackets, we just need to supply what we're trying to destroy. So hit dot game object, and this refers to the game object that we're hitting. Next, we need to add some ammo to the inventory. However, there is no inventory yet, so we can do that really easily by just making a new static variable. And if you remember from the scripting section, a static variable is a variable that is accessible from other scripts. And we'll call this grenade ammo. Now my personal preference is as soon as I'm using a static variable that is accessible from everywhere, I use capitals. So grenade underscore ammo so that in script I always know that this variable is a global flag as I like to call it. Okay so static var grenade ammo and by default it equals zero and this turns it into an integer variable. Okay so now in the inventory I can type grenade ammo plus equals and now we need to make up how many there is in a crate. So let's, for example, go with eight grenades in a crate. Okay. Now, of course, if you want to cap it off and say, well, if he has already picked up 40 grenades, then there's no need to add more. You could just use a simple if statement for that and just add it as long as it's smaller than the 40 number. But in this case, I'm fine with just using eight right now. Okay, so that's nice. But now we need to make sure that the inventory is actually there on the screen probably as well as adding the grenade to throw. So let's do that next. 